Good evening and t welcome to the Cleveland Photographic Society. Uh, tonight is a photojournalism night. It's our third one of the year of the 2021, 2020 and 2021 year. Um, before we get started with the, uh, the images, uh, I w I, there are a few announcements I want to talk about. Uh, we have some upcoming competitions. But March 5th will be the creative and pictorial competition. Uh, now the deadline for that was actually uh, February 24th, so you're too, too late to enter, but we do invite you to uh, tune in and uh, look at the images and listen to the judges' comments. We also have a B competition on March 12th. The deadline for entry uh, for that competition is March 3rd. Reminder that the B competition is for beginning uh, photography people, and if you've entered the regular competitions, you cannot enter the B competition. And then finally, our last uh, event for the year, uh, as far as competitions, is the March 26th photojournalism night, and the deadline for that is March 24th. I also want to let you know that sign-ups for spring classes have begun. Uh, we, uh, the, the three classes that we'll be offering in the spring, uh, on Saturdays, we'll have the Fundamentals of Photography, which starts on April 10th. On Wednesdays, we'll have Photoshop Editing, which starts on April 7th. And then on Tuesdays, we have Lightroom Classic, which starts March 23rd. And I do want to remind you that all of the spring classes will be held virtually. And uh, just want you to be aware that you can watch this and most Friday evening meetings at your convenience on the CPS YouTube channel. There's a link on the CPS website homepage, or if you open YouTube, you can search for Cleave Photographic. And we do invite you to subscribe to our channel and choose to be notified whenever a new video is posted. So we're going to go through the images. We have 20 images tonight. Um, and uh, uh, our reader tonight is going to be Bill Keaton, who happens to also be the first uh, set of images. Again, I remind you with photojournalism, it's basically a photo or an image that tells a story. Uh, you're not allowed to do any real major editing other than uh, fixing exposure and, and minor things like that. So. Um, We've asked each individual who submitted entries to provide three or four sentences describing the image, and that's what Bill will be reading tonight. And he will be reading for all of the entries. So let's begin. This is titled, In Good Hands. An anesthesiologist quietly watches a patient and monitors breathing levels during a surgery in Honduras. He was part of a team doing free surgery for the needy during a trip where more than 20 such surgeries were performed. This is titled, It Takes a Team. A surgical team works together during a week of free medical care for the poor of Honduras. Nurses, anesthesiologists, and an ear, nose, and throat surgeon spent five days performing surgeries for more than 20 people who would otherwise not be able to afford the medical care. This is called R2-D2 and the team. A medical team hover, hover over a patient during tonsil surgery during a week of free medical care provided by a U.S. team that traveled to the Honduras. The doctor took a bag of toys with him and a stuffed R2-D2 given by the doctor accompany the child into the operating room. This is titled Watchful Eyes, and a surgical nurse who was originally from the Philippines but now lives in the United States, watches as an ENT surgeon works on a patient during a week of free medical care provided to the poor people of Honduras. A team from the US provided medical care and free glasses during the week-long trip. Okay, our next set of images is by Cynthia Smith. This is titled, Jessica. 
After escaping Nicolas Maduro's rule, Jessica sells Tootsie Pops in the Plaza Grand Square of Old Town, Quito, Ecuador. A refugee with two children of her own, she also cares for twin nephews, her sister's children. They were orphaned when her sister and husband were killed in an explosion while attending a political demonstration in Venezuela. Called Who Are You?, a man at a political rally in support of ex-president Rafael Correa is suspicious of my camera lens pointing his way. Correa, and I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, a democratic socialist of Ecuador held office until 2017 when he was replaced by the conservative Lenin Marino. Political rallies are commonplace in the Plaza Grand Square of Quito. This is called Green Hat Lady. Green Hat Ladies sell scarves in the Plaza Grande Square while babies are tied to their backs. They're, they are easily spotted by their peacock feathers. Titled Break Time at Put-In Bay, yeah, yeah. a correction, mm -hmm. called a special performance. Founded in 1992, the Sinamune Music School of Quito provides education and music therapy to children and young adults who would have no other option in their community. In spite of their mental and physical disabilities, these students proudly perform in the orchestra or as dancers. Okay, the next set of images is by Darla Zajac. This is called Break Time at Put-In Bay. After an afternoon of wild and crazy times at Put-In Bay, these beautiful ladies decided to finally cool off and recharge before their next adventure. Just watching the driver maneuver the cart before resting was an adventure in itself. Their expressions alone speak volumes. Called Strategizing on the Soccer Field, these two soccer players were strategizing their next plan of attack. Their expressions and intense conversation grabbed my attention. Whatever they planned, I hoped that they were successful. Okay, the next set of images is by Elda Baroni. Called Introducing the Children to Friends. It's Sunday and in a large plaza People take a walk and meet friends. Titled, A Road Too Narrow, I witnessed this bottleneck in a small town in Como, Italy. I was wondering how they would be able to extract, extricate the cars. Okay, the next set of images is by Mariah Kaiser. This is called So Dependable, So Unnoticed. Every morning, all the garbage I've collected all week gets put on this curb. This man was to retire within the year, so I made a poster for him. This is just one of the photographs. Called Arctic Explorers. A few years ago, I took a trip up into the high Arctic. One of the days we were lowered into zodiacs in the Greenland ice fields, I was in the other zodiac. Called Welcome, restaurants were closed due to the COVID virus in 20 and 21. Even the welcoming sylph at this Italian restaurant was ill prepared for the winter snows, much less the virus. called No Picnickers Today. Winter is beautiful, I think, so I frequently drive down to the lake. This image speaks to winter, to a calm beauty, and to summer activities taking a break. Titled Ung Sun Heroes. Driving around downtown, correction, 
driving around downtown, I waited behind this truck on my way down to the lake and thought, many have had a hard time during coronavirus and lockdowns. Can you imagine where we might all have been if these workers had stopped working? And our final set of images is by Ronald Wilson. This is called Abandoned. Candid photo in bad part of town. Interesting graffiti. What is the story about this figure? Lots of possible descriptions. Called Bullfighter Number 6. The job of the bullfighter is to protect the fallen rider from the bull. He does so at his own risk. Titled Feeding Gulls 1, Feeding Old Crackers to Birds at the Beach. Do not do this. Feeding wildlife is usually prohibited. Okay, and that concludes tonight's event. A small number of photos tonight, but uh, still um, important to uh, you know, work on your photography skills and in particular uh, photojournalism. So for more information about competing or to join the Cleveland Photographic Society, please visit our website, www.clevelandphoto.org. And we want to thank all of those who entered. Uh, if you have any feedback about this competition or any of the competitions or really anything about the club, please send us your feedback at info at clevelandphoto.org. Again, thank you and good night to all. Stay safe.